Google Pixel 8 Pro powered by its third-gen Tensor chipset. Sadly, though, it appears the Tensor G3 will continue on a path of disappointing performance in light of new leaked benchmarks. Louisville's Tensor family of chipsets has always remained behind the competition. And with the Tensor G3, expectations did not mount too much. However, in the latest Geekbench 6 leak yesterday, we got to report on a mini unboxing of the Pixel 8. And today, Google's top-end flagship, the Pixel 8 Pro, attaining a single core and multi-core score of 1760 and 4442, respectively. The results are higher than what we perceived about the Tensor G3. The processor continues to be slower than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which only means that the upcoming 8 Gen 3 will be running circles around it. The Tensor G3 itself features a 9-core CPU cluster, which was mentioned in an earlier report too, so it is possible that the additional core aided in that multi-core improvement. These specifications are top-notch 6.7 in high-res display with 120Hz refresh rate. They are triple cameras, and we are not sure if it is Samsung Gen 2 or Gen 1, but I'm sure of those cameras with Pixel-exclusive features, it's going to shoot some fantastic photos and videos, and not to mention this body heat scanner too does amazing things so you can capture the cosmos, create the right light zoom, and make the mini eyes of porcelain and black color finish coming in so is all colors a matte frosted finish, which is nice. Now on the performance side, we have Tensor G3 Samsung's fabrication process, and the benchmark scores are way lower than the A17 Pro 8 Gen 2 Silicon. But with it for seven years of security patches plus pixel feature drop on top, I hope it is going to perform decent and just going to wish the battery life lasts longer than the Pixel 7 Pro. The Pixel 7 Pro got a 5000 mAh battery and the Pixel 8 Pro is coming with a 5550 mAh battery with 30 watt of fast charging, so not a huge jump in terms of battery size, but thanks to Tensor G3, we may see better battery life. Finally, $699 for the Pixel 8 with some offers, I guess. And that is a hot deal in $899 for the Pixel 8 Pro and you get a Pixel Watch 2 for free is a steal deal in my opinions. Meet Google Pixel. Watch 2 helped by Google help in some other countries. You may see different discounts and offers. But overall, this device is looking hot so far. The speed test and battery test will be out on my channel soon. The benchmark also notes that the Pixel 8 Pro tested sports 12 gigs RAM. And in case you did not know, the memory count remains unchanged from last year's Pixel. 7 Pro the device was also tested with Android 14 and will likely be one of the first models to get updated to the latest version if you are disappointed with the Tensor G3's single core and multi-core results know that next year's Pixel release will not have significantly improved performance figures either Google is said to stick with Samsung's foundry for the Tensor G4 in 2024 with the Pixel 9 and Pixel 9 Pro offering a minor upgrade over the upcoming models. We should see the company finally competing with the big guns in 2025 when it is rumored to finally switch to TSMC and mass-produce the Tensor G5 which is set to arrive with its custom cores instead of ARM's designs. So what are your thoughts on the latest benchmark of the upcoming Pixel 8 Pro? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comments section. And for more updates, you can check out our channel. See you in the next one. Peace out.